What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a FlashLogic remote start from eBay. This module is pre-flashed for my vehicle. You tell them what vehicle it's going into and they pre-flash it. It's supposed to be plug and play. One side plugs into the module and the other one plugs into the back of the ignition. It does have the option to wire the hood, the horn, and the parking lights. I have not done so yet, but may do in the future. Everybody that I was watching online said that you had to remove this cover to plug into the ignition. I chose not to do that and just stick my hand up in there and plug it in. There's enough room. Let me go ahead and show you guys where it plugs into and just how easy. This is the wire coming from the back of the module. There's your ignition box. Um, this was the factory wire that plugged into the back of it. Your new harness has a male and a female end. You would plug the female end into the factory and then the male end plugs back into the back end of the ignition. Um, the instructions tell you not to push this button or it resets it. So when you're mounting it, you just have to remember not to let anything push up against us. Trying to use the remote start, it wasn't working right away. So I was a little confused by these instructions. So I figured you would plug it in and then it would just work. But you do actually have to go through a programming procedure. You would close the driver door, reopen the driver door to wake up the database bus, insert key into the ignition, turn key to the on position, LED will turn solid red, wait five seconds, LED will flash green rapidly, turn key to off, remove key, press unlock on the OEM remote. If vehicle is not equipped with OEM remote, press module programming button. Wait, LED will turn solid green for two seconds and module should be programmed. Um, I did that, everything worked as if it should, so we're gonna try it out now. Alright guys, so there we have it. The Flash Logic CH4 has been installed on the 2010 Dodge Ram. It was super easy, took about 10-15 minutes to install off eBay for like 80 bucks, didn't have any problems with it. If you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We got a lot more videos coming your way.